Hello everyone and welcome back to The Breakdown. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to download and install the Dungeons, Dragons, and Space Shuttles mod pack for Minecraft. This is a pretty cool Minecraft mod that has Dungeons, Dragons, and Space Shuttles in it. It's overall really simple and, and like the name explains what it is, but it's really cool and that has a lot of features and a lot of different stuff that you can do depending on whether you're into Dungeons, Dragons, or spaceships, or all three of them. So nevertheless, we're going to go over exactly how to get this mod pack. However, if you want to start a server with this mod pack, the quickest and easiest way to do it is with someone like Apex Minecraft Hosting. Apex is the sponsor of this video, and if you go to Apex using the first link in the description down below, it will be taken to a place where you can set up a Dungeons, Dragons, and Space Shuttles mod pack with just a few clicks, literally less than four clicks. We'll get that mod pack up and running for you without any issues whatsoever. Apex Minecraft Hosting takes every single hard thing, every single difficult part of starting a mod pack or starting a server with a mod pack and throw us out the window making it just quick and easy and selecting the mod pack and copying the IP address and pasting it in game. It's that easy. You can set your server up in under five minutes at Apex Minecraft Hosting. We actually love Apex so much that we host our own server, play.breakdowncraft.com on them. So again, if you're looking for a great Minecraft server for you and your friends to enjoy with dungeons, dragons, and space shuttles on it, go check out Apex at the first link down below, the breakdown.xyz slash Apex. Nevertheless, let's go ahead and get this mod pack installed. To do that, what we want to do is go to the second link down below. That's going to take you here, and this is our tutorial on how to download and install the Twitch app. Why do we have this tutorial here? Well, because that is what we're doing here, and if I go too fast or skip something in this video that you, you know, Maybe I talk too fast and feel like I skipped something or something like that. You can come here and this will go through all of it and walk you through every single step of getting the Twitch app up and running and installed. However, once you're here, what you want to do is click on this yellow download button. That will then take you off to Twitch's official download page where you want to click on the download for Windows under the Twitch app for Windows here. That will then download it automatically in the bottom left. You actually won't need to save or keep this file. It'll just download. However, on Mozilla Firefox, you will need to save the file in the center of your screen. It's safe to do so, though. It is from Twitch itself. Now, if we minimize our browser, we have on our desktop here the Twitch setup. This isn't on our desktop. No worries. It's in your downloads folder. And to find that, click the little Windows icon. For me, it's in the top left view. It's in the probably the bottom left of your screen. Click on that little Windows icon in the bottom left of your screen and then type in downloads. Then you'll have this downloads file folder in Windows here. And in here, you'll have the Twitch setup. Drag that to your desktop just for ease of use. Now, all we need to do to install the Twitch app is to just double click on the Twitch setup here. That will then open up the Twitch installer where you want to click on in install here. Then we're going to go through, download, install everything it needs to do, and then it will open up to where you need to log into Twitch. Now, you do need a Twitch account to install the Dungeons, Dragons, and Space Shuttles mod pack, and if you don't have one, you can create one. It's 100% free and quick and easy to do. However, by the way, once the installation is finished, give it a second and it will actually open the Twitch app here. There we go. Now for me, I can click continue. It might say, yeah, I need to log back in here. So let me go ahead and log into the Twitch app. That's what you need to do as well. And then once we've logged into the Twitch app, we will be able to continue on with the tutorial. There we go. We have now logged into the Twitch app, and here we are on just the Twitch app homepage. What we want to do is then click on the Mods tab up here at the top, and then you'll have Minecraft in here. See that? There's Minecraft. Click on that, and then click on that purple Install button on Minecraft here. And then say Hold Tight while it gets Minecraft ready, and then you want to click on Browse Mod Packs. From here, you want to click on this search box over here to the right. Oh, there, there it is. But what you want to do is search for Dungeons dragons and space shuttles and there it is what you want to do now is come over and click this purple install button this appears by the way when you hover over the mod pack click on that purple install button and now it's going to do everything it needs to do to install dungeons dragons and space shuttles quick easy and it's installing just like that you don't have to worry about anything don't have to do anything else other than click that install button and it's going to do everything for you so now i'm going to do a quick jump cut and then we'll be we'll, we'll, we'll be ready to launch this mod pack on up it is a very very simple process so anyway let this install and i will see you after a quick jump cut and 257 mods have been downloaded and there we go, the Dungeons, Dragons, and Space Shuttles mod pack is finished installing. How do we know this? Because there's a purple play button. To, all you need to do now is click on this purple play button to launch up this mod pack. Now, when it does launch up, you will need to log in to Minecraft. However, this is the official Minecraft launcher, and it's the exact same information that you use to log into the normal Minecraft launcher. Why is that? Because it is the normal Minecraft launcher. By the way, if you're wondering what I'm doing over here, it is I am pulling up the uh, login information. That way, when it opens up here, all we have to do is stop in our email, right like so. And then we paste in our password and click login. Again, this is going to be the exact same login info that you use in the default Minecraft launcher, right? Minecraft.net. If you're going to change your skin on Minecraft.net, that is where you want to do, or that's the information you want to enter in here. So once you're here, you sh should be able to just go ahead and click play. However, I'm going to show you how to add more RAM to this mod pack because 99% of the issues that you'll have, like startup issues and things like that, involve RAM. So what we want to do is click on installations here, and then you'll have this Dungeons, Dragons, and Space Shuttles, basically option. Go ahead and click the three lines over here to the right and click on edit. 
Then I'm going to change my resolution so you all be able to see better once we get in game. And then I'm going to change right here, XMX 3200 to XMX at least 4200, but I'm actually going to go pretty crazy and do 6200 here just to make sure we launch up no problems or anything like that. I have 32 gigabytes of RAM on this computer. I can easily do that. However, if you're running like 12 gigs, you don't want to put six gigs here, right? So nevertheless, let's go ahead and click save. And then we can go ahead and click the green play button on Dungeons, Dragons, and Space Shuttles. This will then open up this mod pack, get it up and running. Everything will be good. Oh, what is this? We have a fail to launch issue. Now, this is something that I've encountered it before in the Twitch app, so I'm going to show you how to fix this. Pretty easy. Just come here and where it says latest release here, click on play. This is going to open up the latest version of Minecraft, and in doing that, it's going to download the things that we are missing from the Dungeons & Dragons mod pack. As you can see right here, it is downloading them. So it's going to download this, and then it's going to launch up Minecraft, but not the Minecraft we want, right? It's not going to launch up Dungeons & Dragons and Space Shuttles. It's not going to do that, but we need to do this in order to fix that error. So if you get that error on startup, just click play on 1.14.4 and then it will fix itself. So let's go ahead, I'm gonna let this download, and after it's done downloading, I will jump cut to it opening up, and then I'll show you the process from that point. So there we go, the download down here is finishing up now, and once it is finished, it will go ahead, close out of the Minecraft launcher, which is fine, because now it is going to go ahead and open up Minecraft 1.14.4, which is what we want. So as you can see, it's opening Minecraft 1.14.4. We wanna let this go all the way until it hits the main menu, which it's about to do. There we go, got hit with the main menu music there, but now we can just go ahead and quit game. Now what we want to do is come back over here to the Twitch app, click on that play button on Dungeons, Dragons, and Space Shuttles. This time it'll open up the Minecraft launcher and we won't have to log in. And this time, as long as it says Dungeons, Dragons, and Space Shuttles here, if it doesn't, just go ahead and click on it like that and select it. Click play. Then it will open up Dungeons and Dragons and Space Shuttles with everything we need without that startup error, right? I love when I get errors on screen like that, like on video. It just is awesome because any of you that would have had that error that would have been like, I don't know how to fix it and I've had to explain it in the comment section, which can be sometimes hard to understand and all that stuff. Now you know exactly how to fix it. And as you can see, launched up perfectly there. And I say it's launched up perfectly, but there it is. Now it's launched up perfectly. So now we're going to go ahead, let this load on up and I'll see you on the Minecraft main menu. This could take minutes to start up, right? Like up to five minutes to get started up and rocking and rolling and all that stuff. So let's go ahead, do a quick little jump cut. And then I'll see you once we are on the main menu of this mod pack. However, if you do have any issues, for example, if it goes like wide or you get like a spinning ring or something like that, that means you might need to add more RAM, right? Most likely it's gonna work itself through it. However, if you do that and it crashes, just add more RAM, which we did a little earlier, and you'll be good to go. But let's do a quick jump cut here and I will see you on the Minecraft main menu. And there we go. We finally have Dungeons, Dragons, and Space Shuttles set up. That took a while. Um, literally, I think I would love to like check back between the jump cuts at the time because I wouldn't surprise me 15, 20 minutes to get that set up and running. Um, it eats RAM, so you will definitely need to add more than, uh, you know, four to five gigabytes of RAM to it. Um, I was maxing RAM at five and a half gigabytes there. So yeah, pretty crazy. But here we are. We can go ahead and create a new single player world real quick. Jump right on in and I'll just prove that this mod pack is up and running by, uh, you know, showing you some things that are in it and then we'll be good to go. So go ahead, do a quick jump cut here until we're in this world and that'll be that. All right, here we are. If we go ahead and check our inventory, do we have the quest book? We have leafy chicken sandwich, because why not? We have a basic backpack. We have the vial of shielding and we do have a copper ax as well. We can go ahead and go through here and see some of the awesome stuff that is installed. So we've got the draconic evolution tools here. It's gonna be going with your dragons. We do have the extra planets mod as well. That's going to be your space shuttles, as you can see. And then we do have the dungeons mod. It's installed as well. I don't necessarily know what uh, is going to go along with the dungeons mod here. Let's see if, uh, let's see if we can search some items up here for dragon. Let's see if there's some dragon spawn eggs. We do have a dragon egg, but I don't think that's a dragon spawn egg. It might be though. Let's see. Do you have a dragon egg here? Yeah. And then we're going to have to let that like actually, you know, become a dragon. But nevertheless, thank you all so, so much for watching. If you did enjoy this video, enjoy getting Dungeons, Dragons, and Space Shuttles, please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for more awesome content every single day of the week. My name is Nick. This has been The Breakdown. Come play with us on the best Minecraft server in the multiverse, play.breakdowncraft.com, Green Protect Survival, Custom Skyblock, you absolutely love it, and I am out. Peace.